Hello again and welcome to another MCAT question of the day. My name is Theo Bennett and I'm one of the tutors here at MCAT Self Prep and today I'm going to be walking you through one of the many practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com. I actually use the MCAT Self Prep website and it helped me get a perfect 528 on the MCAT and so I'm going to be walking you through this question today as if you were one of my private tutoring students. So before we start, why don't you go ahead and hit pause and try this question out for yourself. Okay, now that you've come back, let's dive into the explanation. Today we're going to be talking about universal emotions, and I tend to think of these universal emotions as kind of being like primary colors. These are the most basic, most rudimentary emotions, and although we have so many cultural differences, we are all able to recognize these emotions across cultural boundaries. And so similar to red, yellow, and blue, we have seven primary emotions. And so we can go ahead and talk about those. So when I think of these primary emotions, I tend to group them, again there are seven, I group them in three pairs and one outlier. So first we have an opposite as our first pair, and that is happiness and sadness. So happiness and sadness go together, you just need to remember happiness and then it's opposite. The second pair is surprise and fright. Although these are slightly different, again I kind of view them as going together, maybe it's two sides of a coin of this sort of startle reflex. And then the last pair is, um, is going to be contempt and anger. Again, slightly different, but they kind of fall into the same category. And then our outlier is going to be disgust. Again, disgust being you know, universally recognizable. And so when we're thinking about this question, we need to think about okay, what are the three pairs plus the outlier and which of these doesn't fit into either a pair or an outlier? So let's jump back to the question. So the question is that we have these different cultures, but there should be one emotion that won't be able to be communicated across cultural boundaries. So again, this is a question of which of the following is not one of these seven primary emotions. And so we can get rid of happiness because that goes in our first pair with the happiness sadness. We can get rid of fear because fear falls into that um, next pair of fear and surprise. And then we can get rid of disgust because disgust um, is the, the odd man out, right? It's the addition. Can you remember what the other two emotions are? That's right, it's anger and contempt. So the only emotion that doesn't fall into these seven is going to be embarrassment. And so we can confidently pick that answer. And that's correct. Thanks for walking through this question with me. If you enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can head over to MCATSelfPrep.com, home of the free MCAT eCourse, and check out more content there. We're trying to provide as much free information and helpful tips to those who want it, uh, just because we're really committed to helping you succeed on the MCAT for as low a cost as possible. Um, if you're interested in tutoring, we also have those packages available. Uh, but thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.